How you doing everybody? This is Outdoorsman 2009. Making a little quick video, man, and just tell you to show you basically the price of ammo and how much, you know, it went up. Uh, my grandfather is deceased. He passed away, you know, some years ago. And I do have his ammo, Federal Game Load Ammo, 12 gauge, um, one out six shot. Um, it looks like he got this from a K7 store. It originally was seven dollars and seventy four cents and it was must have been sale for two dollars and ninety two cents it's made by federal um made in the u s a doesn't have a date on it I haven't found a date per se um I don't know but he has a couple other ones uh mohawk field load from remington twelve gauge that's from ace. You know, Ace sold ammo, I guess. I don't know if Ace sells ammo here or not. This is 25 rounds for $3.46. How crazy is that, man? I'm guessing this is probably, you know, in the 80s. Also, like the rest of them, he must have, you know, purchased these and stocked up on them. Like, this says $2.21, but it's crossed out and it says $1.88 right there. You know, so he must have purchased that off. So all these for $1.88. And then you got that for three forty six from Ace. That's two dollars and eighty two cents right there. That's sixteen. And then you got a couple other sixteens here from Federal as well. Um, let's see. I have some ammo here in this case. Let's see a help. I don't know. Okay, so here we go. These are rifled slugs from Winchester. You got a twelve gauge, and this is a fifteen pack for what twelve ninety nine from Meyer. So, you get 25 in these for $3.46 or $1.88. I know this is slug, so it probably has some good, better, you know, more lead and stuff. Those are the BBs, the 8 shot. Um, they look like they're all 1 ounce. So, game loads probably are a little cheaper than, you know, the actual slugs. But this is $12.99. Like I said, does on sale, $1.88. Back probably in the 80s, I'm guessing. I just want to show you a quick video on prices. Any of you guys have any old ammo? One day I'll shoot this just to, you know, basically blow through it, you know, and I'm sure it still all works, you know. Um, we'll, we'll test it out one day and we'll put it on video for you guys. But anybody has any old ammo or can give me information on, you know, old federal game loads or old Mohawk field load? I've never even heard of the Mohawk field load, what that is from Remington. Like I said, uh, from a dollar eighty-eight to two twenty-one to three dollars and forty-six front dollar or three dollars and forty-six cents from um, Ace. Nineteen um, eighties ammo, I'm guessing. Uh, if you guys have any info, let me know, and we'll just talk about um, the price in ammo, how it's been going up. You know, you know, twenty some years. Obviously, it has to go up because costs are more. Better technology, but you figure best te better technology pays off in the future. You know, you have robots and computers running all this stuff and not manual labor that you have to pay these people. So you figure that with the computers, the technology, obviously you're investing more money, but you think it would be a simpler process and also it would be cheaper in the long run. That would pay off, but they don't go off the cost of that. They go off of how much more they can make, you know, with the market, you know. And this and that, and the the price of the different products they use, you know, like the primers and this and that. Obviously, you know, the shot shells, the lows, the BBs, or the slugs. So this outdoorsman 2009, just bringing it to your attention. You know, the price on ammo. Adios.